and welcome to the investiture ceremony of the Rotary Club of Portsmouth, Dominica. Give the club a round of applause. This evening, we want to recognize our Assistant District Governor, Delbert, our incoming president, Kenneth, our immediate past president, Liz, the board of directors, the members of the board. We also have our members who are here this evening, including our very new members. Our guests, welcome. Emo News and the listening public via Emo News, thank you so much for joining us, our dear media partner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, everyone in the listening of my voice, good evening, and thank you for being a part of the investiture ceremony of the Rotary Club of Portsmouth, Dominica. I invite everyone to stand for a moment of silence. is a service club that really caters to improving our communities. And though many of us, someone says several of us are not from Portsmouth, but though we are in the north of Dominica, we have a passion to see the development of Portsmouth and Dominica, of course. So thank you very much all our members, everyone who's a part of this organization, in ensuring that we can improve our communities, we can add value to the lives of the people who we live, who we work with, who we do various activities with. And for those of you who are listening, it's a special invitation. If you are interested in becoming a member of the club, please reach out to us and we'll certainly welcome you and have a discussion with you about how the club can add value to your life, but also how you can be of value to the community of Portsmouth. With no further ado, we welcome our immediate past president, Liz, to give us some highlights of the past year. And this may be quite interesting for even those who are tuning in to understand a little bit more about what took place in the past year. So President, past president, please, we hand over the mic to you. Thank you, Rotiani and Lisra. Uh, and again, welcome to everybody, also to the community of Tukuri, because I think is this uh, nice mic that they also hear us. Thank you, Derek, for hosting us. I prepared a little one page. It's too much to say what I want to say, but it's not my night. It's not my evening. It's not my event. So that's why I try to be short. I've been the president uh, of the club for the last two years. So I have two years to recap. But it was easy years because it was COVID. So there were 30 things that we were not allowed to do. But our club, we made it happen, we had Zoom meetings, and we still got some products done. I, man I managed together with my board and my members to start with 90 members and end up now with 24 members. So even in the COVID time, thank you members, we are plus of five members. I think that's pretty good, thank you. Other important things that we did, and that will probably not say anything to people that are not Rotarians, but still those words will say you something. We managed to get two district grants. That means we got a district grant for the Bradford House, a project of one of our Rotarians to help children who need some extra attention by drawing, singing, and spending time with them. Very nice project that's still going on, but more for her now. She's leading it, and we just helped her. The, pro the district grant we got this year is the beekeeping project. 
but also got a global grant. And that global grant, we did with our friends, Rotarians in Canada, in Bracebridge. Two years before, we had still an ongoing global grant with Canada again, but not the same Rotarians in Bracebridge, but in Lethbridge. Also Canada. That global grant, the first one, it was not because of me, it was of Rotarian Hans, who contacted IT for Dominica in Canada, and Lethbridge in Canada. They were able, and they departed in two global brands, so I was able to finalize the second one and got the honor for that. It was not completely good and true, but I was very happy that I could finalize it. We managed to get, after Maria, to all primary schools in Dominica, Chromebooks, computers, and internet installed, working together with IT for Dominica and the Rotary Club in Lethbridge and the government of Dominica, of course, as they installed all the IT without the help of our partners who would never have been successful. So thank you to all. This year, together with our project lead, Rotarian McMarara, we managed with the district grant we already said, beekeeping, the Rotary Club in Canada, Bracebridge, also got a district grant, and together with the Rotary Club in Canada, we managed to get a global grant. So the three grants together, we were able to provide for 30 farmers, a, like a beekeeping certificate, I call it. We managed to teach them how to build a beehive, it's not completely finished yet. And we have one of our Rotarians, Deborah from the Leeds, who is also here, and she's one of the farmers who participated and became a Rotarian after it. So congrats and thank you, Deborah, for being in our midst. I'm very happy that she appreciated what the Rotary Club did. This project we didn't do alone either. You can't do those things alone. We got help from ISRA8. ISRA8 is also in Dominica. They came also with the plan. They organized everything. We sponsored, we helped. There's even a little booklet. I didn't see the, the version yet, because I'm not sure it's printed yet. But keep, keep us in your mind and in your eye, because more will follow. We're not done yet. For the rest, we did some small projects because we could not do much because of COVID. Beach cleanup, uh, street cleanup. We planted some trees at the Indian River. Um, my finance year ended this year in 2022. Unfortunately, it was a minus, a small minus. So I know my members, my board, and everything, and everybody will help to get the new president, help him to get in a plus again, because it's important for the club to stay alive. I'm thankful for our sponsors. We have iPad Solutions, who are in the US. We have Secret Bay in Picard. And we have Rudolf Thomas in Portsmouth. Thank you, sponsors, for continuing helping us and being with us. Unfortunately, they could not be here. As you all know, it's holiday time. The same as some of our members who are overseas. Hi guys, <laughs> if you look, I think they will, but some are six hours up front, so they will be sleeping now. Then I would like to thank, of course, all my club members, especially the board, but I also would like to give a special thank to my partner, Hans Schilders. Why? Because two years ago, when I was elected to be, chosen to be the president of the club, Hans was asked to be the president of the DHDA. Plus, he was asked to be the AG, the assistant governor for the Rotary District 730. So he had to make a choice. We already spoke with the district government at that time, and we thought that it was not right that me being the president of the club in Portsmouth and Hans being the AG of Dominica, where we also have a Rotary club in 
also old, or the Club of Dominica. So he had to reject the AG position, but he accepted the position of treasurer for our club for the last two years. So I'm really happy because next to his volunteer job to be the president of the DHDA and being our treasurer, he really stand uh, by me. It was not the woman standing by the man, it was the man standing by the woman. So I want a big applause for my partner Hans Wilders. Thanks a lot for doing that for me. And I think we learned both together. You were also one time the president, you're the past president also, but he learned, he learned a lot together. And last, because I don't, I'm already eating too much time, I really want to address to our new president, Kenneth, Kenneth O'Brien. I really think that our members will be standing behind you too. We will motivate them, we'll get it, it will be a great year, and I wish you a lot of success. And I know you have a lot of ideas, so we can't wait to hear our new president later on when he's doing his words. But again, thank you everybody for helping me in the last two years to get the success that we did in our club. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much, past President Lees. And thank you for all the hard work that you've done, all the sacrifices you've made for the club over the past two years. As you said, transition must take place. And on the 1st of July, 2022, we welcome our new president for the Rotary Club of Portsmouth. He will grace the stage right now, so let's give it up for President Kevin. Welcome, President Kevin. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I'm honored to be the president this year, and I'm um, hoping that we, I'm hoping that we will work together to achieve much more than we can achieve, much more than we have achieved before. Okay, so um, we don't further ado. I forgot my glasses. Eh? Mm -hmm. There you are. You don't got mine. Okay, let me just um, say to the master of the ceremony, this um, Lisa, for doing such a fantastic job thus far. Um, we know our sergeant of arm, but Mike. Yes. Hello, that them. Okay, um, Sergeant of Arms, past president, and immediate past president. <laughs> um, please, guest speaker, all the members of the club, of the table, or the past president, and sorry. Or the past president of the Rotary Club of Portsmouth, outgoing and incoming board of directors, fellow Rotarians, special invited guests, the AG. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. I would like to thank the Rotary Club of Portsmouth for affording me the opportunity to serve as the leader of the Rotary Club of Portsmouth. Our I, President Jennifer Jones said, and I quote, we have been entrusted with the leadership in our great organization. Now it is up to us to be brave and intentional in the action and let others help us lead. And so, with your help, we will imagine Rotary and turn Rotary dreams into reality. Over the past few years, Rotary Club of Portsmouth has been through major challenges. COVID, um, hurricane, storm, members, busy. <laughs> But we are a resilient people, and we have increased our impact, expanded our reach, and most of all, increased our ability to adapt. 
First, all right, President Jones Jr. said, we are not going to call ourselves first or best or world or any other kind of class. We are just going to be a team and the team is Team Rotary. I would also like to tell the other members of my team that the outgoing board, the incoming board, and other members of the Rotary Club of Portsmouth, I have a crystal ball. <laughs> and I see pure energy, enthusiasm, passion and knowledge in the leadership team. As we go forward, we will intend to build on what exists, stay focused and be the agent for change. So look out for team Rotary in Portsmouth. Planning is essential in order to realize goals and objectives, and so we embark upon the club program and project. We look forward to maximum participation and total involvement. Our 2022-23 motto in our club is imaginary, turning reality in turning dreams sorry into reality. We have dreams, right, people? Yes. yes. And we need to turn them into reality. What is Rotary? Have you struggled with an answer to that question? On the other hand, how do you describe our organization? There is so many things to do and many different people. Imagine a world that deserves our best, where we get up each day knowing that we can make a difference. Well, we are 1.4 million neighbors, friends, and community leaders who come together to create positive and lasting change in communities and the world around us. Right? Our different occupation cultures and country gives us a unique perspective our shared passion for service helps us accomplish the remarkable. The remarkable, don't forget the beekeeping project. We, we, I went to the, went to the, the conference and they said, for such a small club, how do you all get those grants? How do you all get projects? How do you get a district grant? I told them we have some wonderful, brilliant people that oh, yes. And I mentioned Mr. Mackey. And I mentioned, I mentioned Mr. Mr. Lisa. And I know that we're going to continue to do so. We're going to get to the ground. Right, people? Amen. Amen. Okay. Our district point and view approaches to us give us unique advantage. We see different, we think differently. Act responsibly. We have been making history in our world together over 170 years. Since forming in 1905, do you know that? How many people knew that Rotary was formed in 1905? <laughs> 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 we have taken some of the world's toughest challenges in the biggest and education of polio, eradicating of polio, and we are close, close to eradicating polio. Just a mini, mini, mini thing. We only have a few cases of polio in Afghanistan, I think. Let me see. Yeah. Well, anyway, responsibly does mean that one just doing good work. It means making the most out of every donation which we receive. Engage members in critical and retained members. Tragically, Rotary Club of Postmark, by returning dreams into reality, we will promote Rotary International seven area of focus, the environment. And in the environment, our focus is, as we say, we want to 
do our fruit rehabilitation in the north of the island. Okay? Okay, okay. yeah. So, by presenting the environment and enhancing the country's aesthetics, we will plant trees in various areas of the island. In the world of literacy, more than the educational polarity, it is ultimate investment that the future and the first step towards all the new forms of literacy requires the 21st century. We wish to see a century where every child is able to read and use their skill to gain autonomy. So, over the last the Rotary Club of Portugal sees the youth as the future leaders in our country. The success of any country hangs on the education and training given to the child leading in their future career path. Okay. The club will also address Rotary International second and third area of Portugal. These prevention and treatment and water and sanitation through the land. Okay, so we don't further ado, I will just, because we don't just get too long. In any organization, its members is the greatest asset. We are the greatest asset, okay? And each member of the club will be made to feel that we. So we're not eliminating everybody. Everybody input is important. The destiny of Rotary Club of Cosmos is in our hands. Success, therefore, is our club and will depend largely upon our sustained willingness to work hard and long in perspiration always grows over inspiration. Anybody heard that before? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Perspiration always rules over inspiration. Okay? I challenge all my members to rise to the occasion, to serve with pride and dignity, and look forward to your commitment and upwavering support. Together we can achieve anything for which we are willing to pay the price. I challenge you to become involved, participate fully as we imagine Rotary turning dreams into reality. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President Kenneth. You said that perspiration beats inspiration Correct. and though our theme this year says imagine Rotary we are all encouraged to perspire yes we'll imagine but we'll also perspire and in even beginning this we welcome our assistant district governor as he pins our president who will begin to perspire I see he's perspiring already but he will do a lot more this year and we also welcome our secretary who will help to facilitate us, but you get the first view of our assistant district governor for this evening and he will have the pleasure of pinning our, our president. So we ask you to come more to this side.
we invite our secretary, Sari Rowe. Great pleasure, I appear in Sari role as our secretary. She has been doing that for many years. And I know she actually continues to do a very good job. I said, I'm a glasses. Okay. Yes, Sari. Thank you, Sari. You're welcome. Okay, our next board member. Our next board member is our treasurer, Marike Van Aston. Unfortunately, Marike is not here with us this evening, but she is looking virtually. So, Marike, when you return to Dominica, you will be paying. Thank you. Our next board member is the vice president and membership chair, Sami White. Welcome, Sami. Mr. White, yes. thank you for, for uh, being part of the worship of the Cosmos, for accepting the Vice President. Next is our President elect and Project Chair, Mark Morara Joseph. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our immediate past president, Liz Van de Kamp. Thank you, President. Thank you. Past President Liz, for the fantastic job. And I know that you'll still continue to work hard. I will, I will. Oh. He's in, he's in my, you see what he's doing? No, he's no, I'm good. <laughs> when I'm not there, I know you'll hold the fort. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank okay, you, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our oh, admin chair, Marianne. Marianne is unfortunately not with us this evening, but also. When she returns to Dominica, she will be in. Our foundation chair, we welcome Anne Wee. Thank you, and thank you, and uh, uh, yes. of course. <laughs> it's all about outrageous love. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. Our sergeants at arms, we welcome Miss Matilda Cathy. <laughs> Thank you. 
The mic? Yeah. Yes, I need the mic. Okay, good. It's it's really it's really an honor to be here. It's really an honor to be here. I'm excited about being here. One of the things I'm excited about is having the opportunity to work with the Rotary Club of Portsmouth. This is where I should stand. The mic works better here, right? And do not move. Okay, great. I got it. I'm really excited to be to be here, and I'm really excited about the opportunity to get to work with you and your entire club for the next Rotary year. Um, the Rotary Club of Portsmouth is is noted for for something. When I got introduced to, to Rotary a few years ago, I got introduced to it in a different way. When we came to Portsmouth and I saw how you guys operate, I was like, this is different. They don't have all the edges and all the formalities and all of those things. Your club is riddled with diversity. It's riddled with diversity. And your club has gone through so much since its inception. But what is, is notable about your club, and your, your, your incoming president, now president, and mentioned it in his speech, is that regardless of your size, regardless of your adversity, Regardless of the diversity and how much you have endured over the years, you always put in the sweat. Yes, that is the 
Regardless of how many Rotarians have cycled through the Rotary Club of Portsmouth, you are going to get a Global Grant every single year. I don't know how you do it, but it's always done. It's always done. And, and this is something very, very commendable. And I'm happy that I'll get a chance this year to work very closely with your president and your board and get a chance to learn and also share with you in, in this Rotary. I'm really, really excited and proud to be here with you. I'm supposed to talk for 10 minutes on imagining Rotary, turning dreams into reality. Turning dreams into reality. I'd, I'd like to, to see that your, your, our president, Jennifer Jones, must have been or probably still is uh, a student of the thought movement. It's a movement that began in, that began in the early 1800s and the 1900s with a bunch of philosophers, you know how they were back in those days, that created a thought movement and one of their, their, their core values in, in general and in part is that Finally, attuned thought is a positive force for good. Nice old English words that mean when you think things through and it's connected to a higher source, it's always a force for positive. It's always a force for good. And you had so many writers in the early days and so many scholars, Emerson, Earl Nightingale, James Allen, and a bunch of those, uh, those guys who tested that theory, provoked it, and proved that it actually would. And, and I wish I had time to go in and delve into how much, you know, uh, that attraction and positive thought works and, you know, putting up the signs and, you know, alignment and those things. We don't have all that time. It's 10 minutes. I wish um, Kenneth would invite me back so we could do a whole series on all those things. If you love me, I'll be back. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. But what I want to leave with you tonight is imagination, as, as many of the authors put it, is, well, Einstein is one of them for sure. He, he remarked that imagination is more powerful than knowledge. Because knowledge and understanding only test the limits of what we know. But imagination encapsulates the whole world and all they ever will be to know and understand. Imagination is everything, for it is the preview to life's coming attractions. I heard that phrase three years ago. I have it on my WhatsApp status, it never changed. Imagination is everything, for it is the preview to life's coming attractions. What, what do you see now around you, in front of you, in your, in your thought that, that wasn't first someone's thought? Everything that you can see, touch, feel, it was first in someone's mind. And, and we do that all the time. People call it manifesting and so on and so on and so forth. We don't need to go into that. But you've done it before. You've thought about wanting something. A wife, a degree, a child. A vehicle, a piece of land, a home, a piece of mind. And we've gotten those things. Lunch. We've thought about those things and it has come to pass. And we take it for granted that we have access to the most powerful tool on the planet. The most powerful tool that exists. It was, it was um, Napoleon Hill who remarked that imagination is the most marvelous, miraculous, inconceivably powerful force the world has ever known. Bob Proctor went on to say, shouldn't we understand it? Shouldn't we use it and exercise it for the good that we want? Of course we should. I think, I think that's one of the things that Rotarians live by using their imagination for the good of everyone, using their imagination to see how best they can make the lives of other people better. One of my, my mentors and someone that I, I study and learn from very often says that 
success and often yeah. very often people talk about success and they liken it to they liken it to to, to having or acquiring some level of money. That's true in certain cases, but it's not the only type of success. Right? Right. But he says that achievement, desire is the starting point of any achievement that you will ever have. You have to want it. You have to you have to feel it strongly. It has to be a burning desire. But for materials, the question doesn't now become, but how do I create that burning desire? How do I start to bring more to myself? No, the question for materials is how can I do that for other people? How can I desire more for other people? How do we as a club, as Team Rotary, how do we turn those dreams and desires into reality? Not for ourselves, not for our business, how much more money I can make because I'm now rubbing shoulders with the elite in our society. And I can, you know, I, I know Sammy White, you know, I know Kenneth O'Brien, you know, I know Hans Shoulders. I can, no, that's not why you're a tyranny. That's not why you have deep desires. We get the woman in our club. <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> but, but I would say literal, but I don't want to get into trouble. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we see your Instagram. We know where you've been. <laughs> but that's not why you're a Tyrion. You're not here to rub shoulders and build a massive network. Of course, that's a byproduct of what we do. That's second nature. You get to know people who now become a resource. For what? For achieving more for other people. That's why you're a team. That's that's what makes that that is what makes the difference. I heard this this phrase earlier this week and it really stood out for me. I won't say where I heard it, right? To eliminate the conversation. But it says that living for others is a rule of nature. It's a rule of nature to live for other people. It's great when you're happy with yourself. You've achieved so much as president. You've achieved so much as a businesswoman. And it's it's wonderful. It's an achievement. You look back at your life and you're like, oh, I've done so much. But what's more gratifying is, is when other people are happy with you. Other people are happy because the Rotary Club of course well exists. Other people are happy. Other people are impacted because you decided that every single year you will find a way to get a global or a district rank that is going to impact the lives of hundreds of people. It's a rule of nature to live for other people. The sun doesn't bask in its own glory. Trees don't bear fruit for themselves or for bask in their shade. The cloud or the rivers don't drink up their own water. Everything that everything that exists in nature it does it does for others. And materials live by that principle. You, we live by the principle of sweetness above self. That's living for others. Day in and day out, Rotarians help us every single day to leave the world a better place. To leave the world a better place because that's that's the most noble job that we can have. To impact the world. And when you leave here, or when you transition, or whatever we call it, People will be happy because McNamara existed. And he was the most impactful project leader that ever walked in the face of Dominica. I like to say things like that because why not? That's that's what we live for. I want to leave you with a, with a, with a poem that I really think it resonated with me as a child and I hope it has some kind of impact on me. It was written by Walter Winton. It's old English names. I get tongue-tied sometimes. But you know this one. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you are, you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but think you can't, you are already sick. You won't. If you think you lose, you're lost. 
For out of the world we find success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outcast, you're You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can win the prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man or woman. But sooner or later, the man who wins, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. In this road year, we will together turn a lot of dreams into reality because we think we can. Thank you. Thank you very much, Delwood. That was very encouraging. How many of you felt encouraged? Woo! Okay, and for those who are listening online, I saw some are consistently tuned in to us this evening. I hope you too, you felt inspired. There were a few points that resonated with me, and I just want to touch on, on a few of them. At the beginning, Delbert mentioned that imagining and imagination is a preview to life's coming attractions. And imagination is what's going to be the preview of the common attractions and the common um, initiatives and value that we'll create in our community. As well as living for others is a rule of nature. So we're not here for ourselves. We're not part of this. I mean, we invest our finances into the club so that we can make a difference in our community. But like Delbert said, we're not living for ourselves. So thank you very much, Delbert, for this encouragement and we wish you much success in your year as Assistant District Governor. We have a few individuals that we want to recognize this evening. It's a surprise for them, I believe. I don't think that they know that they'll be recognized. But first, we want to call a very special lady, Mrs. White, to the front. Let's give a round of applause for Mrs. White. I want you to come to the front and we have something to tell you and share with you. We recognize you for, for many reasons. Um, and maybe in the meantime, we'll ask Sammy to come closer because when we, when this happens, we want you to be close enough. <laughs> there are some persons in life who support others in achieving their dreams and goals. And sometimes it goes unrecognized. But this evening, we want to ensure that you understand that we all value your support to Sammy. We all value your support as an individual. Sammy did something very special. He had some points that he wow. he gave up to ensure that he could be pinned this evening as a PHF, oh, wow. a Paul Harris fellow. Oh, wow. Yes, you. <laughs> we, yes. we really appreciate you. We really appreciate all that you've done. And we invite all of this and this government to the front to ensure that you can be recognized this evening, that you will be recognized this evening as a Paul Harris Fellow. So, yes, you could. Sami, we invite you to stand on her side this time on her. Should I read it? Oh, this is kind of good. There's a there's a certificate in here, and I'd, I'd like to to read it. 
the Rotary Foundation of Rotary International, to Carla Ann White, is hereby named Paul Harris Fellow in appreciation of tangible and significant assistance given for the furtherance of better understanding and friendly relations among peoples of the world. Signed, John F. Germ, Chair of the Rotary Foundation, Trustees, and Shakara Mehta, President of Rotary International. Congratulations. For the, for, the, for the camera, maybe you want to zoom in for the pin to see what a nice pin she's receiving. to come to the front to speak about this in the video. Okay, um, one thing though, I don't have the PNP that person. It is on its way. <laughs> However, I want to take the opportunity this evening. Please come on somebody now. To really thank Lee Van der Kamp. Yes, sir. I'm just like to pronounce it. Perfect. For the opportunity or the leading of our club for the past two years. We cannot deny that she has done a very good job. And we want to really, really thank you for the two years that you have. Thank you. Took us as thank you. As I said, you will get your pain. It's a dog, we put the boat limit down. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to take the opportunity to really her, and I think she will still continue to do that work because I will. It, it is in her nature to do so. Okay? <laughs> thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, President. Let me also you. take the opportunity to thank again tonight Mr. Mackey for the fantastic job that he has done in project. Okay? Right now, we, we have we have about, about 30, 20, 30 persons doing beekeeping and making honey. So you know our country is becoming a bee country. Okay? And it's all because of Mackie's hard work. And along with others, but Mackie really put in the hard work. So we really want to thank you very much for that. And I hope and I know we will continue to get more and, and, and enhance the livelihood of people in this country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President Kenneth. We are coming to the end. And like Kenny just said, Deborah is one of the newest beekeepers due to this beekeeping project, Be Dominica, Be Natural, Be Dominica. And Deborah is also the newest member of the Rotary Club of Portsmouth. We welcome her to give the vote of thanks tonight, Deborah. Woo! Deborah! Woo -hoo -hoo! Our angel! Wow! <laughs> it's such an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. First of all, I want to say thank you, Spirit of Life, for blessing us. So we in turn can bless and help others. Thank you, Spirit of Life, for blessing us so that we, Rotarians, can bless and help others. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, today was just a very incredible day. I've always been to Portsmouth and supporting Portsmouth. So this is what an extension of what I've been doing. Today was a magical day. I've been recalled. I do a workshop. It's called Trilogy to Happiness. You know, allowing people to know that all we have is the now. Because sometimes we forget that and we can just run away into the future or live into the past. Yeah, so today was a really nice day. I was recalled to do that again. As of last year, I had 50 students and the numbers went up by another 50%. So we had about almost 70 people there, children and adults, you know, just having a really good time. So that was really special. But however, however, I am from the village of Daily Seas and I'm saying the way the, 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 the way I became a Rotarian is through my dream becoming a reality. That's how I became a Rotarian today. I've always dreamt of becoming a beekeeper. I'm a very passionate farmer. I love the soil. I'm always in the soil. And then when I heard about this project, I was ecstatic, I was excited, I just called everybody because it was limited to make sure that I got shortlisted for this program. And it became a reality. And I'm so grateful and so thankful for the Rotary Club of Brisbane, the Rotary Club of Portsmouth, and Israel for making this all possible. And then I was just asking. Deborah, would you want to become? I'm like, yes, why not? This is something I'm already doing. I'm already serving. As Deborah said something, it just hit me straight in the heart. I like that word living is a life living for others. I just, I was just in tears. It was really, really hit me. And you know what? And as he said as well, the sun doesn't bask in its own light. The sun shines for others. And that was really, really, really close to me. You know, and that is how I live. And you know, to be part of this family is just an extension of what I do. My dream right now is to make everybody happy and to roll out what I do with partner with the Rotary Club around the island. Because we know as people we suffer, Dominicans suffer. 2015, me myself was personally impacted by Hurricane Erica. I was in the Jungle Bay area and we got three um we got three strikes on our property. 2017, here again, my Maria finishes off with the road. And as we all know, two years on, there was COVID. Yeah. And then, now there's the what? Monkey pox. So there's so <laughs> much anxiety and there's so much stress. So we have work to do. We have lots of work to do. Yes, so I'm planting the seed and I'm claiming it that we can run this project and make the world a happy place again. Okay, so once again, I want to say congratulations to the new board members and well done for stepping up and for taking the stand to making this happen. And, and Liz as well, you are really raised up. You know, who does that? You know, a small club that was such a big happening. You know, we are dreaming big and we making it happen. This is just so amazing. I'm so proud of you. And I'm sure Kenny will follow suit. He will raise the bar even higher. Amen. We have raised the bar even higher. We, we, the members, the members, each and every one of us, because each and every one, we're unique and we're special. And all of us bring, even McNamara, you know, all of us are very special and bring our talent to the table and making this pretty. So I want to say thank you again to all of you. Thank you to our sponsor, Secret Bay, um, iCat Solutions, and, and Ruth of Palmas for sponsoring this. And most importantly, to say special thank you to our host to create, um, keeping it real, the best seafood in the world. Yes, yes, yes. I came here last year for my 50th and the, the reception was magnificent. So absolutely grateful. All right, well, without further ado, and then, oh yeah, and, uh, sorry. Yes, yes, and thanks again to Delbert, our keynote speaker. You know, as I said, it was like an arrow to my heart. You know, and uh, we love you, we love it.
continue shining and um, continue connecting with us and stay with us, yeah? Absolutely. Um, so Absolutely. thank you, everybody, and um, let the party begin. our newest member and of course we thank Emma News and all of you as well Emma News for being here with us this evening. Like Emma said, let's get it up. Let's get yes. it